thank you for joining us today on an episode of SirenNet Television where we are going to take a truck. It's a 2019 Chevy 1500 in the work model format and have you take a look at it in a simplistic light up format with wheel and engineering and code three items. In the front up top is the all new FST inner edge. So a perfect mount for the overhead headliner and visor mounting brackets. Amazing potency it has so much we actually had to add a high low feature for nighttime operation to tame it down. Up in the front of the grill, four of the classic ions in a full amber. X pattern it looks really nice in there and I must say that with the new design of the grill the ions definitely complement the cutaways that are in it. Over on the side thought about doing vertexes but it just didn't work out with the design of the buckets in this truck. So Star Cars provisioned a flasher module a Wheeland UHF 2150A and tied it in here so that way rather than just having these as a normal turn signal they have some life to them when the truck's on and flashing. As we move down the sides, down simply for side profile, wheel and ions, a pair. And on the back of the truck, we have the T-Series Ions from Wheel & Engineering yet again. So another look at an Ion family. Their nice thin profile helped with a clean mounting on the inside of the truck. In the taillights, amber and red in a nice X crisscross pattern. So all you have to do for the same thing on your vehicle, phase two and phase one. So you're gonna have a phase one and phase one and a phase two and a phase two. Down low from our friends at Code 3, we took advantage of the M180 light heads. So that way down low and out to the 45 degree, amber lighting's nice and visible. And then when the truck shifted into reverse, not only did these come on, but the white of the M180 as well. So a nice way to have an enhancement through one set of lights. Here's a nice look at the form-fitting design of the FST inner edge. Shroud tucked nicely against the glass with no flashback, and the bracket affixed overhead on the passenger and driver's side to the vehicle's sun visor anchor points. So the Gamber Johnson center console had a better fit. The guys at Star Cars have trimmed down the inner portion to get it contoured so it tucks under the dash. Inside of it is a mounting faceplate for the Harris radio and for the Whelan PCC S9 RW switch box. Progressive switch here that is going to tie into the front sides and rear lighting of the vehicle. Rear is going to be the white mode for the M180s so you can control them manually as well as the override in reverse. High low that's for taming down the FST bar. Future switches for accessories to come on the truck if anything's needed to be added. And over here on the side, with a momentary tap to that button, we can blast a 100 watt air horn. That's the PAP 112 from Wheelan Engineering, and that's tying into our SNSP1 speaker in the front grille. Well, that's going to do it for us today on this episode of SirenNet Television. With Star Cars and a Chevy 1500 work truck in their hands, it has turned out absolutely fantastic and now ready for service here in the Pacific Northwest with a very brilliant amber lighting package. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining us on SirenNet Television. To stay up to date, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.